right. Hello, everybody. So, um, again, we we're reviewing some um, the past couple days. So, you took your test on Tuesday. And yesterday, we did um, the Tops and Bottoms book as a review. Um, and you did the matching for uh, what part of the plant something came from. So, today I want you to look at this. We're going to review again with some of the fruiting part of the plant. Remember, though, the fruit of the plant can also be a vegetable. Um, so, sometimes, like in this picture here, these are the things that we generally think of as a fruit. So, we have watermelons, bananas, oranges, apples, strawberries, grapes. Um, and those are the things that if we go to the grocery store, we say, I want fruits. These are what we get. Okay. But remember, when we talk about plant parts, the vegetable is the fruiting part of the plant. Okay. So, fruits that we consume, such as apples and oranges, again, that's what we consider fruits at the grocery store, as well as the fruit of the plant are the fruiting body of the plant. Fruits are formed from the fertilized ovule, which is, we know, the seed, and the ovary wall of the female part of the flower. The fruit protects the seed, okay? So it's kind of like, um, I think of like a knight in shining armor is the armor for the um, seed. And then the fruit is also gonna assist in the dispersal of seeds. So it's going to attract a animal, um, that will consume the fruit, and then as it gets rid of the seed, it is dispersing it um, throughout, okay? So today, we have a um, another book that we're going to do the video for. This is called The Vegetables We Eat, right? Um, and then as you're reading the book, there's also a chart on Classroom that you can be filling out as well. Oops, sorry. So this is a chart that you can be filling out. Um, it has the vegetable type. So I did the tubers for you. Tubers form at the base of the root and store energy in the form of starch to support new stem growth for the plant. And we learned these as part of the stem. So we didn't go quite into tubers um, in class, but it is part of the stem. Okay. Um, and that's where your potatoes fall. So you can see there are several different types of potatoes um, that we eat. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing for bulbs, flower buds, fruit, leaves. Um, roots, seeds, and stems. Okay, so as you go through these types of vegetables, give me a description of each and then five examples of each. All right, and you'll pick up on most of those from the book. So with that said, we're going to read the book real quick. And again, it's a YouTube link for you to follow along with. read aloud? Today we are going to read The Vegetables We Eat by Gail Gibbon. If you take a look at this cover, you can see all of these vegetables on the cover and look at the way she did these letters with the different vegetables. How fun is that? If you're next time you're looking for a design idea, take the theme and you too could make your letters out of that theme. How fun would that be? Let's take a look at the vegetables we eat. Perennials are plants that grow for many growing seasons without having to be replanted. Annuals are plants that grow for only one growing season. They must be replanted to grow again. Look at all the vegetables. Vegetables are the parts of plants that are grown to be eaten. Most are annuals, some are perennials. If you ever want to pause the video to check out everything that's going on in this picture, go ahead and push pause anytime you want. I will say that when she says to push pause, that may be helpful when it gets to the types of vegetables. So just kind of a heads up, that might be helpful for you. It is good for us to eat vegetables. They are nutritious and help our bodies, help keep our bodies strong and healthy. They are tasty too. We eat vegetables in different ways. Vegetables grow to be different shapes, sizes, and colors. Botanists group the different kinds of vegetables according to the part of the vegetable that is eaten. There are eight groups of vegetables. Look at that. Leaf, bulb, flower bud, root, 
tuber, stem, fruit, seed. This says a botanist is a scientist who studies plants. Leaf vegetables. Iceberg lettuce. See that is growing in there? And here's a picture of the top of iceberg lettuce. Romaine lettuce. Some other lettuces. And then they talk about the romaine lettuce. Bib lettuce. Red leaf lettuce. We eat the leaves of these vegetables. Some other leaf vegetables, cabbage, watercress, spinach, parsley, Brussels sprouts. Bulb vegetables. Here's a white Spanish onion. And then they talk about different kinds of onions. Here's the white Spanish onion. Some other onions, yellow globe onion, red globe onion, sweet Vidalia onion, and here's some other bulb vegetables, leeks and scallions. This says we eat the bulbs that grow beneath the ground. And then here's flower bud vegetables, white snowball cauliflower, and there it is again. Some other cauliflowers, cheddar cauliflower, purple head cauliflower, and some other flower bud vegetables, artichoke and broccoli. How many of these vegetables have you had? Can you guess why this might have gotten the name cheddar cauliflower right there? Mm -hmm. What about purple head cauliflower? I think you know why, right? Looking at the color? Yes. Those are the things that you can be thinking about while you're reading. This says down here, the flower buds of these vegetables are eaten. All right, let's go on to the root vegetables. So this says early wonder beet. There they are again. And then some other beets. Detroit dark red beets. Some people eat beet greens, this green part, the leafy part. Some people eat that. And these are called red ace beets. This says the roots of these vegetables are eaten. They grow beneath the ground. See how it looks there beneath the ground? Then over here, some other root vegetables. Parsnips, turnip, rutabaga, carrots, and radishes. Tuber vegetables. These are Kennebec potatoes. There they are. Some other potatoes, you, yellow Yukon gold potatoes, red Norland potatoes, russet Burbank potatoes, purple Peruvian potatoes. Have you ever seen a purple potato before? Those look interesting to try. This says the edible part of these vegetables, the tuber grows beneath the ground. See how far down into the ground it grows? And then over here it says stem vegetables. There's the golden self-blanching celery. Celery is an annual. Some other celeries, Ford hook celery, giant pascal celery, some other stem vegetables. Asparagus is a perennial. Rhubarb is a perennial. Remember back in the beginning of the story what the difference between a perennial and an annual is? If you don't remember, go back and check. No problem. This says down here, the stems of these vegetables are eaten. Some stem vegetables are perennials. Fruit vegetables. There's the tomatoes, best boy tomatoes is what that says up there. Here's some other tomatoes. There's another sample of the best boy tomatoes. Here's a beef eater tomato. My guess is that's probably a pretty big tomato. Sugar plum tomatoes, ultra sweet tomatoes, yellow tomato and cherry tomatoes. Here are some fruit vegetables that we eat. Some other fruit vegetables, eggplant, cucumbers, yellow squash, butternut squash, hot peppers, zucchini, sweet peppers, and pumpkin. How many of those vegetables have you eaten? Here's some seed vegetables. This says we eat the seeds of these plants. Some seed vegetables grow in pods. Sometimes the pods are eaten too. And you can see that in all of these pictures. There's green beans, some other beans, yellow wax beans, pole beans, lima beans, kidney beans, navy beans, some other seed vegetables. 
Here's the pod, and then inside are the green peas. See that? Snow peas, corn, and this is called the husk. Corn is a seed vegetable that does not have a pod. It has a husk. This says the soybean. The soybean oil is used to make most household vegetable oils. Soy milk, margarine, tofu, soy sauce, soap, paints, paper, cloth, plastics. Did you know soy was in all of those things? So soybeans are a special seed vegetable. They can be used in many ways. Some soybeans are used to make food products. Soybean oil is used to make many non-food items. Now over here, after we've learned about all of those different kinds of vegetables. Now it says how to grow your own vegetable garden. It says fertilizers are substances added to the soil as food for plants. A shovel may be used to turn over soil. A rake may be used to smooth the soil so it is ready for planting. When it gets warm enough, many people enjoy planting, growing, and later harvesting their own vegetables. Most often they buy packets of seeds that have directions. It says sometimes string or sticks are used to help plant straight rows or to support climbing plants. When seeds are planted in a circle and covered with a mound of soil, the mound is called a hill. Here's the starter plants. Here's the seeds. It says a trowel is used to dig small holes for seeds and seedlings. Lots of stuff going on here, isn't there? Some people plant starter plants, also called seedlings. Most of the time, vegetable seeds or starter plants are planted in straight rows or in circles. The garden must be weeded and watered regularly. The plants begin to grow. And then they identify the sprinkler, the scarecrow, the hose, the watering can. This is a hoe may be used for weeding. What do you suppose that scarecrow is for? That would be fun to research and check out how they've been used. In cities, people may grow vegetables in containers. So do you see all these containers here? You can grow sweet peppers, green beans, tomatoes, and lettuce. And then they show the different stages of growing here. This says the vegetable plants will become bigger until they are ready for harvesting. Great big vegetable farms. Fertilizers are added to the soil. A plow turns over the soil. A harrow smooths the soil so it is ready for planting. A planter places the seeds in a straight line. Farmers fertilize the soil. Then the fields are plowed, harrowed, and planted. Some vegetables are picked by hand. Other vegetables are harvested by machines. Big sprinkling systems are used to water the vegetable plants. At the end of the growing season, the vegetables are harvested. Refrigerator trucks haul the vegetables to processing plants. There they will be washed and sorted. Some are frozen, some are canned, and the rest will be sold fresh. The vegetables are shipped to stores near and far away for people to buy. At grocery stores, fresh vegetables are on display. Canned vegetables line shelves. Frozen vegetables are found in freezers. Some people buy fresh vegetables at farm stands. It is fun to pick out what to buy. Look at all the delicious vegetables. And then they talk about all kinds of different vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. Benjamin Franklin introduced soybean seeds from France to the United States around 1800. The province of Ontario grows the most vegetables in Canada. More than half of the world's soybeans are grown in the United States. The longest bean is called the yard long bean. It can grow to be about three feet or 91.4 centimeters long. Potato plants originally came from South America. Vegetables can be grown using water filled with nutrients. No soil is used. Botanists call this type of gardening hydroponics. There are about 300 different types of potatoes. About one third of all the vegetables grown in the United States come from California. Don't forget, it is important to eat vegetables. They are good for you. All right, so much information is going on in this. I encourage you to go back and take a slower look through everything going on. And if anything catches your attention, go ahead and research it 